In this video, you will be learning how to create this basketball model. Uh, in the meantime, you will learn how to create the measurements, the design variable, and how to run the optimization analysis in atoms. Okay, first let's create a sphere to represent the ball. And we will choose the radius to be 6 centimeters. And we can specify a position for that. Okay, that is the ball we created. And we will rename this part to as the ball. Okay, then we will create a torus to represent the basket. And we will define the minor radius as 0.5 centimeters and the major radius to be 8 centimeters. specify position and then we need to rotate this uh, geometry but first let's uh, rename that part 3 as the basket okay and in order to rotate this um, geometry we need to select the reposition and the rotate objects button and we will rotate about an, an axis that is um, parallel to the x-axis. Let's define the angle as 90 degree. So first let's choose the object, that's the basket. And then let's define the direction. Okay, and that's how this uh, geometry is rotated. And in the next step, we need to fix this uh, basket to the ground. So we would, uh, in the connectors tab, we would create a fixed joint between this basket and the ground. And the location can be the marker 2 on the basket. In this case, the basket is fixed to the ground. And then we will create a contact between this ball and the basket. And let's choose the special force, contact force, and create a contact. And first, let's pick the bar, and then let's pick the torus. So the purpose of this uh, demonstration is to um, calculate the right initial velocity for this for this basketball in order for it to get into the basket. So. In this case, we will create two design variables. The first design variable is the x velocity for this basketball. Okay, let's name it as, as uh, x velocity. And the standard value we can uh, say 1, and uh, we will define the the minimum value of that to be 0.5 and the maximum value we can define as 2 or 3 in this case let's define 2 and, uh, and as you can see in the model tree under the design variable category the x velocity design variable has been created and now let's create the design variable for the y velocity of the basketball The standard value we can define as 2 and uh, the maximum, the minimum value, let's say uh, 0.5, the maximum value, let's give it 4. Okay, that's uh, how these two design variables are created. In the next step, we would um, define the initial velocity for this basketball. And if you can right click this ball and modify and under category if you can go to velocity initial conditions and uh, for the translational velocity along the x-axis and y-axis we will use the design variable x velocity for the x-axis direction and we will use y velocity 
for the Y axis and we can click up OK and so if you change um, the velocity in this design variable the relative velocity initial velocity in this basketball will be changed automatically okay next let's create a measurement between the center point of this basketball to the center point of this torus and in the design exploration tab and under measurement section there is a function called the point to point measurements so in this case we would uh, first select uh, two point let's uh, pick a center mass of the ball and the front point we can pick marker 2 on the basket and the component we will choose the magnitude okay that's how the measurements between those two points have been created now the problem from uh, getting the ball into the basket has been transferred to minimizing the value between those two points which means to minimize point-to-point uh, -point measurements before we run any kind of simulation let's first change the settings and the units we change the wow. units from MMKS to MKS click OK and there's a warning says that uh, the velocity will be changed accordingly okay then we run the simulation for one second and 50 steps as is showing both in the animation and in the chart um, the basketball does not get into the basket and the minimum value of this curve is uh, not zero and that's why we need to use the optimization tool in Atoms to help us find the best components of X and Y velocity for the ball in order to get into the basket. So in under the design exploration tab and in the design evaluation section, let's click this uh, design evaluation tool. And then we choose the optimization. Here we'll study the minimum value of the measurement and the design variable here we will st specify the x and y velocity and the goal is to minimize that okay then let's start the optimization analysis in this case atoms will automatically calculate a better way to approach the minimization of the measurement as you can see it only takes atoms about um, five or six rounds to figure out the best um, combination of x and y velocity to get the ball into the basket then it says the optimization operation is complete we click close to view the results we can click here create uh, the report of results and uh, we click OK and then as is shown on the list the combination of X and Y velocity when it reaches those numbers the measurement gets uh, close to zero which means the ball gets into the basket and if you want to go to the measurement chart and right click and choose transfer to full plot if you can zoom in this area you can actually observe at which time instant the measurement uh, reaches its minimum value which means at what time the ball gets into the basket and that's the end of this video